Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Chinedu. Um, welcome to just some quick um, looking at scripture for a few minutes. Um, I just call these my uh, Christmas Chronicles. I'm uh, just tackling uh, the chapter, Luke chapter 2, the Christmas story. It's just some scriptures that I've uh, chosen to highlight throughout the this time, this season regarding Christmas. And I just want us to uh, look at a verse, uh, Luke chapter 2, verse 8. And it literally says this. It says, And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. So the word that I want us to highlight is, And there were in the same country shepherds. In the same country shepherds. So, we know the story of, you know, the birth of Jesus, how um, when Jesus, he was born in the manger because there was no room for him in the end. I have on my headphones because there's a lot of noise. Um, so we know the story. What happened is that when Jesus was born, he was born in a manger. And guess who got to see him initially? It was the shepherds who were watching over their flocks by night. Just basically. Uh, but where were they? They were in the same country, right? They were in the vicinity of what was taking place. So they got to see Jesus first, right? Because they were near. They were around the premises. So that's really what I want to talk about today. Staying close to Jesus, being around the vicinity of what God is doing, of who God is. So have you ever heard of, um, you know, it's been said, just showing up is half the battle. Um, a lot of times you hear that in the business world, you know, just show up. Showing up is half the battle. Um, so in this particular case, I want to tell you that the, the shepherds just showed up. They were in the right place at the right time. They were around close to Jesus. So they got to see greatness. They got to see uh, firsthand what was taking place, something Bible prophecy being fulfilled. Uh, so it just in the same country, shepherds abiding in the field, doing watching over their flocks by night because they were just around. They got to see firsthand what was happening. So and and so let's talk about it for a little a little bit. Why do you why do you think they got to see the Messiah is because I think this just because they were around and it doesn't really tell us a whole lot more. Uh, maybe some Bible scholars can highlight, you know, some other things. But I just think it's because they just they were around. They got to see Jesus. So I want to suggest to you that just as the scripture says that we should be close to Jesus because when we are close or we stick around, we get to get a glimpse of Jesus that we would not get if we were far away. We need to draw close to God. The Bible says in James 4, 8, that draw near to God and he will draw near to you. So I think the same principle is really what I want to talk about today is that we need to stay close to Jesus. We need to be around the vicinity. It reminds me of um, the some of the apostles, right? Peter, James, and John, who were always close. He had, Jesus had the uh, he had everybody else, then he had his, his close circle, uh, his inner circle, kind of. Um, Peter, James, and John, they got to see the transfiguration when Jesus took them to the mountain. And, you know, they witnessed Jesus talking with Elijah and Moses. Um, so they got to see a glimpse of him. He took them. He was, they were always kind of close. So they got to see things that other people didn't necessarily see. So in the transfiguration, they saw Jesus, you know, glorified in that moment. So why did that happen? They were kind of close. They were sticking around greatness. So they got to witness his glory in a closer way that other people didn't. So I want to challenge us. What we can gather from this portion of scripture in the Christmas story is that the shepherds who were abiding, the they were in the same country, right? So they were around the vicinity. They got to see what was happening because they were staying close to what was happening to Jesus. So what I want to challenge all of us to do myself is that we need to draw near to God and he will draw near to us to stay close because we can see close, close up uh, who God is close. We can hear his voice louder. We can experience some privileges that we would not if we did not draw near and we can experience his greatness and intimacy a lot more than those who don't draw near. He's told us to draw near to him. 
draw near to God and he will draw you to us. So I want to challenge us to do just that. You know, one of the things is that we, as living sacrifices, we keep crawling off the altar. You've heard that expression uh, because God wants we surrender, but then we just, God doesn't ever leave. We are the ones that keep leaving. But I want to remind us that we need to stay close so that we can experience God more in our lives. And it's worth it all to see his glory, see his power, to see him close up so that we can receive the blessing and that he has for us and just really for his glory. So the shepherds got to experience what they experienced because they were around the vicinity. They were close to Jesus. So they got to see something that other people didn't see firsthand. So I want to encourage us to do that. Um, is I want to encourage you to continue to keep Christ in Christmas. Okay, till next time. Bye-bye.